everybody, Joan Zodians here, and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Sunday. So this week, it's no different than last week, but we're going to go in more depth about how this Virgo energy is affecting us and our mental space, right? All right, so I know a lot of people have been talking about how all this Virgo energy is really going in on them, especially mentally. Let's remember, Virgo is a mutable Earth sign and their ruling planet is Mercury. So they are also a zodiac sign that, um, well, they share this planet with Gemini. So they are overthinkers and they are anxiety ridden. So if you have a Virgo and your Mercury or your Moon or even your Sun or your Venus, this is really going to affect you because Virgo is considered a negative sign in astrology because it is an Earth element. And because of that, you are going to find that you are going to overly criticize people, yourself, situations in your life. You're going to overthink too much, right? You're going to analyze them until there's nothing left and then you're going to keep digging for more when you shouldn't really be doing that. So if you're catching yourself doing that, then you need to stop doing that. You're going to kind of have to force yourself. This is the part where I was trying to tell people, if you watched my Instagram live the other day, I was telling people we have to take all of this negative energy and recycle that and try to be more productive under this Virgo energy. Remember, it's not just in the sun. It's in Mercury, Venus, and it's also in Mars. So it's hitting multiple aspects right now. And this is creating that tension that you're feeling in the air, <laughs> tension in your energies right now. You're also going to find that people are going to start to criticize you more or try to pick things apart. People are also going to want to communicate more about things. They want to go things into more detail, right? They want to analyze. They want to prepare for things. They have all this anxiety right now. It's like we're strategizing for something and it's just too much. It's a little overwhelming right now, okay? But there's a plus side to all of this too because none of them are in retrograde. However, we have external planets that are in retrograde and very important ones that will, will cause a negative effect for some people, right? We have Saturn, we have Pluto and Capricorn and they're still in retrograde. And like I told you guys before, Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn and it's going backwards, meaning we are seeing the negative effects of Saturn and Capricorn at the same time. And it's a little bit more intense. So we have this added pressure to build a family, to have financial stability, to be financially independent, to be a provider. Things that are happening in our physical realm is hitting us really hard right now because there's just so much earth. It's almost as if we have to build faster for some reason, right? Or we just have to keep planning to build bigger and more outward right now. This is really the struggle that I'm seeing with people or that people have vocalized to me or expressed. And I feel strongly or just sensing it in the energy that there is just too much overthinking. <laughs> And I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Like, stop yourself. It's time to calm down. This is the challenge of the energies right now. The universe is challenging you to relax and also challenging you to set more realistic goals, to be more organized. That's the key word, organized right now, because I feel like everybody, that anxiety is rising to the top and it's creating a lot of procrastination right now. That's the downside of having too much earth signs, right? It's like, dude, we got to we gotta build this mountain. We got to build this empire right now. We got so much to do, so little time, so little people. You know what I mean? It's just too much. So dial it back a little bit. Okay, so that's mostly the negative side of it that's affecting the retrogrades with Saturn and Pluto, but also with all of these other uh, Earth signs or Virgos in play. Make sense? Now, the positive side about it is if you can overcome that, you will become hyper focused on what you actually need to do. Things are more clearer. There's more clarity in what you need to build. Make sense? And so you need to be more straightforward. You need to be more narrow-minded during this time. And there's nothing wrong with that. But check yourself, please, and make sure you're not criticizing other people on the way there. I mean, it can feel like <laughs> I'm guilty of this too, though. Like with my husband, we we had like a, a little 
argument over things. And I was just like, oh, I need to chill out. <laughs> I need to relax. I need to come up with a plan. I need to have a to-do list right now because I feel overwhelmed. And, um, and I have a Virgo moon, so that it's really, really hitting me. <laughs> and so it's a little intense right now, especially if you have, again, Earth signs in important planets, in important placements right now. So keep that in mind for yourself. Now, for everybody else, you might also have a difficult time with so many Virgo energy because you're dealing with people who might take it out on you. Okay, they might take it out on you. So you might have to grow a little bit more patient or to be more detached emotionally during this time. It's not a terrible time because I, I just feel like more people just want to talk or vent right now. It's more complaining right now and nagging. So be careful for that as well. And if you are doing that, then just 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 check yourself, okay? Nothing wrong with it. We all are guilty of these things. Nobody's immune to it. And just kind of just reset yourself, realign your energy, and just come up with a strategy during this time and to utilize your energy for something more productive. That's the key thing. If you are not being productive, your anxiety will rise to the top and then you will have a hard time focusing on what you need to focus on, which is building for the future or building for right now. OK, um, it's not going to last too long, though, because on the 15th of this month, everything is going to move into Libra. So we're grouping things together right now. The, the universe is grouping things together from Leo now to Virgo and then moving on to Libra. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's just focus. Let's just focus on what we need to get through during these next two weeks. OK, because not much is going to change next week. And um, try to write everything down. With so much earth energy, sometimes it's good to be a part of nature right now or to go out and socialize right now or to just write things down and be one with paper because paper is part of earth <laughs> or just trying to find ways to get in tune with nature does that make sense hopefully it does and that will help bring peace and make you more calm and more relaxed and i think that's what people need right now so try not to get anxiety try try not to overwhelm yourself by overthinking things too much like you don't it's probably very unnecessary right now most likely and um tr if if you feel like you're overthinking things just write all of it down so you can see the bigger picture of things because when there's so much virgo we tend to just you know hyper focus on that one little detail and not really notice how it's affecting everything else However, on the plus side, at least you will start to notice all the amazing things like this is a great time to practice gratitude, too. So there's a there is some sort of a balance here because you're analyzing things that are negative and you will also be analyzing things that are very positive, especially because it's in Venus right now. You will focus on the good things about your partner or good things about yourself right now. So try to find that balance because you can use that energy on something very very positive for yourself or for your partner or for your co-workers or whoever else um just try not to go in on them too much you know virgos can be too honest for their own good <laughs> good and bad good and bad so that's really all i had to say about that i just want to let you guys know too i am going to be offering a new service soon where it's intuitive energy natal charts so what i do is i capture basically your aura from your natal chart reading your natal chart and interpreting all the energies in 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 your natal chart i know i've said that multiple times don't kill me <laughs> and, and i'm also having an in-person event my first one ever um in october 16th would love for you guys to come and support me or show up the first 20 people that does buy a ticket, they will get a digital NATO chart from me, whether you come or you don't come. So it's $25 for the ticket plus tax. Um, my NATO charts are $40. So that's a really, really good deal. Just wanted to put it out there. It's so optional. I've, I've been trying to sell things or whatever, and people just unfollow me. I'm like, good, good. Because you know what? I If you want content, I have to make some money and I'm not a content creator. Okay. 
I do this because I want to spread knowledge to people, but I have to eat. So if you're not okay with that and you want me to just starve and die, then you can go. <laughs> You can go, but if you like supporting me in other ways by liking or watching my videos, listening to my podcast, I so appreciate and I have so much gratitude for that because without you guys, I wouldn't have grown this much. And um, and I love you guys for all your support and all your kindness and all your encouragement. It really, really makes a difference in my life. So love you guys so much and I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Bye.